Hey guys. Got my trusty Mod Podge. Peel back the lid so that I can scoop. Hopefully scoop it out. I'm making a big mess. Okay, what I do is um, start from thick to thin. I'm gonna mix up this yellow Arteza. This is a soft body. You know, they've got the tubes too, and I think they're, they're a more hard body. <clears throat> I'm not sure, I don't have any. But this is a soft body paint. I also have this which is about the same soft body. And um, if I can grab something else, I'll use it too. Maybe Artist Loft or something, but I'm trying to get some vivid color here, so. So I put in about a teaspoon of Mod Podge there. I'm not going to give you exact ratios. I'm not going to go down that train. We're not going to ride that train. <laughs> there you go. Um, what I would do is make up a bunch of colors, test them all, try to make them the same, the same consistency, the same ratios, and go from there. Okay. Um, this is the lemon yellow, and uh, this is about a teaspoon of the Mod Podge Super Gloss, and I'm going to put like a drop. Uh, this is, they say, semi-transparent. I would mix that in first before you add Floetrol. Floetrol, whatever. My Floetrol is strained, that's why it's in this container. And start out small. That's about a half a teaspoon. doesn't even come off the stick, so another half a teaspoon. I don't want to alter the Mod Podge. So I'm going to add two drops. Two will probably come out if you won't be able to get one in there. So might as well make it two. I'm trying to hurry. I'm just putting <clears throat> air bubbles in it. Like I said, make up all your paints, let them sit, come back to it later.
keep stirring that wetting agent in and give it a second. I don't expect it to just change right away. Okay, so that's that looks like Mount Olympus, so we're going to put meaning it's mounding a lot. I need to explain myself. I'm assuming people know what I'm talking about. I'll just oh, okay. That was another half. I meant to do like an eight. We should still be okay. And this color is still pretty bright considering this flow trawl jizzles it down a bit. Okay, can you see that? Now, different paints are going to mix up differently and they'll fool you. A cobalt may mix differently than something else. The brand of paint you're using may mix differently. I haven't tried hard body yet, so I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to ride that train yet, okay? I may ride it in the future, but not right now. Okay. I'm taking about a teaspoon on my stick, holding it up about an inch and a half. It looks like um, taking my time with this, guys. I'm trying to minimize questions. Uh, it looks like warm honey. Yeah, I think that's good. If you have problems down the line with it thickening up, Add a drop of wetting agent at a time and stir. And if you have to, a couple of drops of flow troll. Just don't go all in with the flow troll. Okay? All right. Uh, right. And then write on your lid what it is. If you're a scatterbrain like me, you need to write things down. <laughs> Lemon. Arteza. Okay. I got some color shift, but
Alexa, stop. Okay, I just had an epiphany. <laughs> the base color just needs to be thinner, so this is slide around. That's all there is to it, because I'm just having a hard time. If I get it, if I get the light thin enough, then other problems happen. So it, they've got to be two different things. To show you the one from the first video. Let's try. This is a six by six tile. I need to get some more of these and probably a four by four tile too. Make it easy on myself. <laughs> There's that one. And this one I resined about 20 hours ago. This is also the food coloring, like that one. And um, Almost dry. So, and it's all cloudy out today and yesterday, or I would have had these both out in the sun to see if they faded, which I don't think. I don't think the sun's going to do anything to them, but you know, I have had that question. So, okay.